Mecca, good evening, good evening. And what this all means is that those inmates, just over 400 of those inmates, will have their sentences commuted, meaning they'll be released this Thursday. They'll have their commu sentences commuted to time served and be released this Thursday. And tonight, a few nonprofits around town are ready to help. Team is one, CEO is another that is prepared to help with. Um, uh, with securing transitional housing, with finding employment. On the phone today with Chris Steele with Oklahomans for Criminal Justice Reform, he's also the executive director for local nonprofit TEAM. They help inmates transition back into society. He says they're working a little differently now because of the virus, but people can still come in person or their staff will help you over the phone. Helping with transportation and clothing and basic hygiene needs. Our employment specialist is working overtime monitoring any job openings that may be available in grocery stores, in big box stores, in distribution centers. Steele tells me it's important the inmates have job opportunities once they're out of prison, especially now amid the pandemic. They have additional um, financial burdens placed on them that, that, that are requirements of their supervision. And, and then on top of that, if a person has not filed taxes, they are not eligible to receive any stimulus money that may be coming. He says the inmates being released were in prison for low-level drug or property crimes. He says not only will the governor's action help reduce overcrowded prisons, but prevents the spread of COVID-19. And ultimately makes us all safer. And the governor's office is recommending inmates who were at facilities that may have had a COVID-19 case to self-quarantine for the next two weeks. Reporting live tonight, Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.